And Richard Di Natale, as we mentioned, has resigned after almost five years as the Greens leader and he'll leave federal parliament in the coming months. The Victorian senator is ending his political career to spend more time with his family and, as we've mentioned, paving the way for Adam Bant to replace him. Flanked by his family, Richard Di Natale calls time on his political career. Today I've made one of the most difficult decisions uh, that I've ever had to make and I've announced to my party room colleagues that I'm resigning as parliamentary leader of the Australian Greens. The decision to bow out made during his leave from Parliament last year for a knee operation. The Victorian Senator wants to dedicate more time to his young sons. My boys are 9 and 11. I want to be present in their lives. His Senate replacement will be decided by the Green State branch, while the new parliamentary leader is all but guaranteed to be Adam Bant. Most of the 10-member Greens party room throwing their support behind the lower house MP ahead of a formal vote on Tuesday. Well, that's going to be a decision for the party rooms. Just minutes after their side-by-side -side press conference, Mr Bant released a statement about his priorities, saying he looks forward to talking with colleagues about sharing leadership across the House and Senate as we fight the climate emergency with a Green New Deal. Current Deputy Leader Larissa Waters expected to retain her position under Adam Bant, the two running a unified approach as they look to the future of Green's leadership. As for the past, Senator Di Natale reflected on what he says are his proudest achievements. And I was so proud as leader to be in here and to see marriage equality become law. We've now got a national anti-corruption watchdog passing with the support of the Senate. It was the Greens for decades who have been leading the charge on that. His future now unclear, but he'll be moving on from Canberra. Look, I just see former leaders who hang around the parliament like a bad smell and I think, what the hell are you doing there? <laughs> and confident the minor party's future, which has only ever been led by three people, will be in safe hands as it transitions to its fourth. We're going from strength to strength and I feel very confident in the future for the Greens. Eliza Edwards, Sky News, Canberra.